all right guys so if you've recently seen the the video i uploaded on the the new 2019 ram 3500 heavy duty limited which had this big 12 inch uh radio i was thinking of making this video uh about the the uconnect 12 and uh, how to like talk everything about it for a long time since the the 1500s have been out and i thought this is a good opportunity to get that done Alright guys, so uh, I just picked a Rebel instead of a, a Limited or a Longhorn just because uh, we've seen so much of the interior of the the Rebel, no, sorry, the, the Longhorn and the Limited. So I was like, okay, let's just pick a Rebel. So uh, let me start off with this, the 12 inch Uconnect system. Now they've, they've been great reviews about it. There are a bunch of YouTube videos, but this is more like i wanted to cover everything in depth with regards to uh what the capabilities of this is because uh this is the next generation of in-car audio audio entertainment or infotainment system now uh what this features is like uh it, it's divided tab wise just like our uh, other models let me just turn the air up a little bit I'm getting warm in here but uh, it's divided tab wise so in your media tab now you could select source so these are all the the ways you can connect various media devices uh, to the Uconnect system so you got your regular AM FM you got the USB Bluetooth Sirius XM and a bunch of USBs now this menu over here is customizable so if you wanted you could drag and drop this and change it up and if you use series xm frequently now that's uh, you can customize this menu now uh, if you hit this back it just uh, closes up and you you get the various menus now what this the exclusive to the 12 inch is uh what we call uh the Sirius XM 360L. Now, uh, the 360L is is slightly different from your regular Sirius XM, which every uh, radio has, or uh, 8.4 Uconnect system has the Sirius XM satellite radio. But what this does is, this Uconnect system is connected via cellular uh, it's got a cellular network of its own and that's how it could create a wi Wi-Fi hotspot now if you want to create a Wi-Fi hotspot you gotta you, you gotta pay for it but what this allows you to do in this Sirius XM is that you can stream uh, or it streams music via data um, along with this the regular satellite channel so that's what it does and uh, you get a 12 12 month free subscription for that data streaming uh, channels which is about 200 channels now uh, 200 extra channels other than the regular Sirius XM channels so you can always go in here and you can search by voice and ask for the artist or the song that uh, you're looking for you can also customize the menu so if you have uh, uh, not the menu but the uh, listeners so you can add listeners to, to to this vehicle so if there are multiple drivers you can 
add a listener and then uh, the listener can start adding the favorite music to that uh, particular profile and it'll show up those songs as and when they're played now this is exclusive to the uh, to the 12 inch radio apart from that you got your bluetooth am fm and uh, the other usb sources like we talked about so apart from the 200 extra channels that uh, it offers via the streaming uh, over data it also allows you to access hours of recorded on-demand programming in the vehicle including shows interviews events and uh, so on and so forth whenever they want to hear it wherever they want to hear it and uh, this is especially nice for uh, sports fans because uh, you get enhanced sports play-by-play -play offering and it's easier to find the listeners favorite team and when the game uh, game isn't game time uh, you get access to official broad broadcasts for more pro and college teams now moving on the next tab you have your your controls which is the heated seat heated steering wheel and the backup camera dedicated button for the backup camera now this one's not equipped with the 360 degree camera but if it was uh, you get uh, full views so you can get the front narrow which gives you the 360 or the back narrow which gives you the 360 but you can get the back or the front uh, wide angle uh, so that lets you see uh, a lot more now you got the zoom feature over here where you can zoom into your trailer hitch backing it up into a trailer reel makes it really easy and, uh, and again uh, you come back to your climate control here you have climate control dual zone which is you can set a temperature for the driver's side and set a temperature for the passenger side uh, you have these soft keys you also have some hard keys over here that uh, allow you to do the same uh, function you connect app is like an app store like in your cell phone now what's very interesting is uh, you get this travel link which is for five years free of cost and uh, what you could do with this is uh, you can look up fuel prices so it's going to pull up uh, gas stations close by and also tell you what what is the price of uh, the gas now you can actually choose for different types of fuels and uh, you could save that in there so if it was a diesel vehicle like for example if it's if the system was in a ram 25 3500 limited you can always narrow it down to diesel so it's going to pull up just the gas stations which offer um, diesel now if you wanted to go for go to racetrack for example you could just click on that and go now and it'll jump to navigation and navigate you to that place similarly you can look up movie listings and uh, it'll pull up the movie theaters close by you can actually also search by movie so if there's a particular movie that you want to watch let's say a star is born just click on that and it'll pull up the movie theaters that are close close by and, and showing it now if you want to go here it'll actually show you what times they're playing too so this is uh, for five years that's that's what you get with this uh, vehicle similarly the sports information so you could choose your favorite sport and get all kinds of information about that weather and then uh, weather map now this is an interesting function you click on it and it'll, you can actually move it around and if you were going traveling someplace you can actually see if you you're going to hit some weather traffic information now this is again uh, current like I said the systems connected uh, wirelessly through a cellular connection and it gets uh, you know, traffic updates on the go coming back to you connect apps now uh, this apps uh, can be dragged and dropped so this bottom menu uh, can be customized so you can like if there's something that you use frequently you could click and drag it and and drop it here and customize it so on and so forth now 
Along with uh, the Uconnect system, these are capable of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. So I'll go through that in there. Apps over here, you also have uh, the SOS and Assist button. You also have the, the hard buttons up here. Now, SOS is in case of a, a emergency, like a minor collision, medical or other emergency. You click on that button and it'll, the vehicle will dial a call center and uh, the phone will be received by trained professionals who will send assistance to the GPS coordinates of the vehicle. And similarly, if you were in requirement of roadside assistance or you had any questions with the function of the vehicle, you can always click on this assist button right here and uh, that, that will take you to a, a call center where they will be able to walk you through understanding any function over here or for example, uh, you need roadside assistance. You can also create a Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, it uses the same cellular connection but creates a Wi-Fi hotspot in the vehicle which will allow uh, the passengers in the vehicle to use uh, the Wi-Fi from, from this Uconnect system. Now coming to the navigation system, it's basically a Garmin. So you don't have to pay anybody anything unless you had to update the maps. But uh, it's got a multi-touch uh, display so you can actually pinch to zoom and you can use the fingers to change the perspective of the map so you could go up or down this way and zoom in you could go in here and change the map overlays like if you wanted 3d buildings if you wanted to add points of interest and uh, so on and so forth in terms of view you can put it as just 2d or 2d facing the north or you could put it on on 3d uh, so this is uh, another interesting feature. Go on to Bluetooth. Basically, uh, there are two ways you can connect your mobile device to the Uconnect system. So one of them being uh, the wireless system, is, which is via Bluetooth. Now, once if you're connected via Bluetooth, you can make and receive phone calls, of course. You can use uh, the wireless connectivity to stream music and media files from your phone you can use it to uh, reply to text messages it'll read incoming text messages to you and uh, the other way you can connect uh, your, your mobile device is via the USB just like you were charging your phone best thing about this uh, you can system the 12 inch is that you can actually use, use it as a split screen so you can split the screen up and choose the top half to show a particular function or and uh, the bottom to to show supposing the, the media uh, option now this can be accessed by hitting the home button but the moment you hit like the button button over here it goes back to full screen where it shows you the nav now you can go into the settings and customize a number of functions of the vehicle itself so this is also your control command center you can change the language your display settings units safety and driving assistance now this is where if you had uh, adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist and park assist uh, those are the functions that you could uh, customize over over here in this vehicle it's equipped with the park sense uh, blind spot alert so for example blind spot alert you just want the lights lights and chime uh, if you had a trailer attached you could put an automatic turn a sharp left and turn a sharp right and the system will read the length of the the trailer and will alert you if there's a vehicle in the blind spot of the trailer as well or you can set it to a max which uh, by default goes up to 39 and a half feet hill start assist is basically it won't let you roll back you can turn it on and off so this is where you could go and customize a number of functions your mirrors and wipers you could you can change that as to how you want it to operate engine off 
options, your doors and locks, so you wanted to chime if, you know, uh, let's go in here. So auto door locks on, uh, on exit. So th these are the functions that you can go in there and, and customize. Trailer brake controller, if your vehicle is equipped with it, which this one is, you can set up your uh, trailer brakes over there. All right, guys, so I've got uh, Paul in here. Paul's going to play customer now. He's going to ask <laughs> me uh, ask me questions about how uh, we can access uh, his mobile device via the Uconnect system. So go ahead, Paul. So Mick, tell me, how many ways can I get my phone programmed and operational with the truck? So there's uh, basically two ways. We could do this wirelessly via Bluetooth. Okay. And a wired connection is uh, via the USB port right here. So you would be... Maybe we could talk about, show me how we would do it with a wire. Sure. So uh, you plug it in into your, your USB port right there, just like you were charging your phone. Okay. And connect it. So what happens is the, the phone icon gets replaced by Apple CarPlay, and this gives you access to your phone so do I still need to use my phone to access it or can I just do everything by the truck now now uh, the, the good thing is uh, there are so many states including here in Georgia now that it's a hands-free state you cannot have your phone in your hand and that is the whole purpose of this technology is that you don't have to physically use your phone whereas you can use the, the the steering commands right here okay. to access uh, multiple functions of your phone like uh, your phone pickup hang up and your voice commands so you could do it from here you could do it via the touch screen right there okay and if you need it to you can do it via your your phone so as well. so if I get a phone call mm -hmm. how do so, I have to answer it you have three ways it's going to show up over here you can hit this button it's going to show incoming phone call over here on the screen. Okay. You can hit on that, or you can always hit it on your your answer on your phone, just like you did regularly. But the whole purpose of this technology is to get the phone out of the way, and that's why you have uh, this button right here to answer. Wonderful. So, if I plug in like this and I have the Apple CarPlay up, is that going to interfere or limit any other options I have that came with the truck? No. You still have every uh, every function right. available to you. In addition to all the Uconnect system apps, you have the access to your phone, which basically uh, in, in CarPlay, if you use Siri frequently, okay. you have access to Siri, which is wonderful. Great. So this would work that way then whether the phone is programmed to that vehicle or not is that correct correct any apple device when plugged in via the cable will be accessible through apple carplay and uh, uh, just the first time you have to give it permissions the the good thing with apple carplay as against the bluetooth function is your personal information in terms of your contacts and messages don't get downloaded into the Uconnect memory. So it stays in my phone. So Correct. If, if I use a CarPlay in a friend's truck, let's say, and we plug in my phone, my personal information does not go into their into their uh, truck Correct. and stored there. Correct. Whereas if you connect via Bluetooth, the system downloads uh, your contacts and messages and that's the only way it can access and then this. it's all shared information this Correct. is still separate then so this is uh, still separate so all your personal information your messages contacts remain private right so that's that's another good thing and uh, of course you can access uh, the music and uh, maps and and stuff like that in, uh, just simply with the icons here so right. if I want to make a phone call yeah we can go to keypad and I can type it or we can use a voice function, is that right? Correct. So you can actually uh, uh, go in there and reply to a text by voice. 
Who do you want to send it to? Noelle. What do you want to say? How was work today? Your message to Noel says how was work today. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. Well, that was easy. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just like that. And when you get an incoming text message, it will say incoming text message received and uh, you can ask it to read it out to you. Well, let's see if she responds. Right. <laughs> so, any any other questions, Paul? I think that's all my questions right now. Mm -hmm. So, this is uh, just, just about the uh, Apple CarPlay. Android Auto functions are very similar and... Uh, uh, we do another video just for the uh, Android Auto. I do have one other question. If if I do have further questions about it, how how can I reach you? Well, just hit the voice commands and say call Amit. But other, <laughs> other than that, of course you so got. So you're programmed into all our trucks. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, uh, via the UConnect system, you have an assist button. Right. And you can click on that assist button and uh, it will connect you to a call center and you can ask them anything and they'll be able to help you out and walk you through uh, any of these features. Great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Please feel free to uh, comment below if you have any questions and uh, uh, any comments. Please like, subscribe, share and uh, that helps me put these uh, videos together for you also we're going to play around a little bit and explore and uh, yeah um, we welcome any question because that helps us learn and answer be ready for our customers whenever they have their questions so all questions welcome